Uh, you were just talking with the shop boy the other day, though, about mm -hmm. the impact the bank had on the game. Can you expound upon that one more again, too, man? Uh, you know how they say uh, Atlanta influenced everything? Mm -hmm. Bank had influenced everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right. the way back to the bank head bounce. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Kilo. Back, you know what I'm saying? Kilo, you know what I'm saying? Pancho, who the like, big head bounce, who's on that? D Rock. D Rock, Rock sorry. Yeah, yeah, D Rock, D Rock, D Rock. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like, not just even starting with what we did, like mm -hmm. going back to how what y'all just said, everybody in the world did bank head bounce. Come on. I don't give a damn where you're from. California, I'm with you. Midwest, South, East Coast, don't matter. Everybody. Once TLC put that vision down. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. You know oh, what I'm saying? They did it kind of slow, but come on. Still the band. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody heard Kilo. Even if you don't know that Kilo, you play Kilo song. And if you, not the Beyonce youngest, Beyonce just sampled them. Beyonce sure just sampled Kilo. Sure did. A nigga from Born Home, my hood, nigga. <laughs> nobody never heard of. <laughs> the, what the new generation don't know of. Come on. You know what I'm saying? And then, now, now let me say this too. How influential Bankhead is. And I'm not saying it, it came from this, but I'm going to tell you. Kilo was the first motherfucker in the history of hip hop, rap, whatever you want to call it, rapping and singing. I'm oh, with you on that. Time. I'm Absolutely. with you on that. Absolutely. I'm with you. I'm with you. And do it on some street shit. No Come argument. on. At the same Ain't time. No and you go conscious on your ass too. <laughs> Some of y'all done lost y'all mind. Ass too. No, Some of y'all done lost y'all Street, club, and conscious. Facts. Facts. All the shit that Drake doing now. Come on. Facts. You know, been doing that shit. These facts. Facts. Get some crunk in your system. Yes, sir. Talk to me about the impact of this crunk move, man. And then also, when y'all was out there doing y'all thing, doing them shows, man, when was it that you realized that, oh, shit, this crunk shit then went crazy? Man, I mean, far as, like, the ad libs really is what kind of drove crunk. You know what I'm saying? Like, the years, the A's, the... The, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, the OKs, like, all that right there kind of the sayings and the chants. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I mean, that shit like tribal. That shit yep. go back, you know, African days. You know yep. what I'm saying? The Who draws. The A's and first? The, I definitely did the A's. I mean, you know, I did the A's first. And then now you got dude dudes doing my A's. I did the years first. Then, you don't know, remember Jeezy came out. Yeah, but I had yeah first before everybody. Everybody know that. I mean, everybody know that. And, and I'm not one of them niggas to be like, ah, oh, these niggas stuff. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> nigga, I like it. Nigga, keep it going. You know but what I'm saying? But you did it, though, before they did it. But I definitely did. Now you hear niggas be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I did that first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it ain't really about who did it first. It's just about, you know what I'm saying, just keeping the movement going for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to see that shit. I like to hit, you know what I mean? And uh, I mean, just as far as crunk go, when you, anytime you see 15 to 2,000 people losing their shit when a song come on, yeah, that's all the confirmations you need. Come you on. know what I'm saying? Like, you, you get on stage and everybody losing their mind. Go, like, if you can make people literally fight, <laughs> off a song, yeah. That's a pop. That's some powerful shit. You damn right. They, it was like friends, nigga. Like I, I seen them come to the club as friends. They were buddy buddy than a motherfucker. <laughs> then we were like, get on my little new host start fighting. Like, we didn't know why. We were like, damn, could have sworn they were friends. Like what the fuck? Come on. You know what I'm saying? So it was just the the impact of the music. You know what I'm saying? It meant something to people. It was like anthems. Yeah. So when you talk sure. about crunk, you talk about anthem. We do stadium music before niggas was like, oh, we doing stadium. No, our music is stadium music. Yeah. When you at the Hawks game, what you hear? I got a question for both of y'all though, man. With both of y'all having street credibility, what was it that allowed y'all to make fun music instead of rapping about real life? Shit, man. Well, the struggle, because I mean, had the fun part was real. Because niggas too, was real that. life. Yeah. You, you, you have to prove it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you no, know. I, I, shit, I, me, me personally, I was thinking the same way these niggas need to be thinking now. A facts. Mm. Talk about that shit on them songs, but yeah, going to jail. Boy, exactly. I don't know when you even came cool to snitch on yourself. Oh, boy. 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 boy, whoever whoever came up with that shit, but they need to revert that shit. Boy. Why the you know hell would you snitch on yourself? They like to have fun, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like to have fun. Like, yeah. For anybody around my age to say that they, they really wasn't dancing, 
Bro, you had to be a boring ass kid with a boring ass mom and dad. Come stay on. in a boring ass suburb. <laughs> you ain't listen to MC Hollow. Know nigga, nigga, everybody listen to MC Hollow. Exactly. 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 They got their mirror trying to do all that shit. They got type right all that shit. They got all that shit. They got type right 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 all that shit. They Grown, I can say, I'm grown now, I ain't dancing. Nigga, I dance. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping on that shit. Yo. Okay, answer me this, though, man. From other regions, did y'all receive a lot of hate with y'all music coming out and folks not putting no respect on it? Or how was that for y'all in hip-hop at that time? Because it's got to be crazy when you got people that want to be at the top, but then you look up, Snap Music and took over, it's going platinum. Crump Music and took over, it's going platinum. And that's what everybody wants. But then certain people just don't want to get with the flow because they don't have the sauce to be able to crank it up with y'all. So yeah. did y'all have to deal with a lot of resistance? What? Cranking shit up. Nigga, what? See, I feel like it's a little easy for them. Yeah. You know Everybody what I'm fucking say that, bro. Now, but I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> that shit pisses me off, But bro. they don't have to, but I'm going to explain you why. So you don't think I'm just saying it. Yeah. Three Six had already broke the barrier with it. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's already accepted. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? We got the most hated music ever. Oh, I feel ever. I, I feel what you're saying. We I got the most hated music ever. I feel what you're saying. Ever, dog. And that's but some of the most can't fucking music. stop it. Come on. To this motherfucking day, like Peach just said, a new one just dropped. Exactly. They damn sure did. They can't stop this shit. It's the most hated. I don't know Come who it is. Don't nobody want to talk won't. about it. Niggas want to have the evolution of hip hop. Don't want to say nothing about snap music. How, nigga? Uh. How the fuck? Nigga, how? M- more artists and million that we all made from the shit that we all did? How? Come on. You see what I'm saying? Come on. Then yeah. niggas thought we was on some fun, fun shit, bro. I slap your ass, bro. I <laughs> fast in the mud, bro. Come, Come on. Better chill the fuck out, exactly. dog. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm so, tired of nigga thinking we spoiled, bro. No, nah, y'all ain't spoiled. <laughs> bro, I had, to fight, I had to fight for oh, this y'all shit, nigga, bro. Well, y'all nigga earned y'all respect, Yeah, y'all. yeah, yeah. I you mean, I ain't gonna lie. I, he definitely right. He They definitely had to go through more shit because that sound... Was totally fucking different. Yeah, they were the barrier breakers of day sound. Yeah, and he was right. Our shit was already broken, far as Memphis and John, and we had so many motherfuckers breaking the, you know, knocking that door down, far as yeah. crunk and all that shit. So yeah, but I, I mean, we still had to fight for this shit. But they shit, I know for definitely. Oh, y'all, 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 need, y'all, y'all fight, but y'all only wanted to fight. Y'all gonna fight? Exactly. Yeah, we did. Want to fight. Yeah, we did. Yeah, 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 we did. Yeah, yeah, we did. One yeah, yeah, thing about these side niggas, they fight. Come on, man. But, but we ain't spoiled by a long shot. No, I, I wasn't spoiled. No, no, <laughs> niggas, cause I don't know. Uh, niggas be like, ah, oh, them trivia, nigga, them crowd, them uh, scrap, cause ah, oh, them nigga, that shit was easy for them nigga. Nah, bro, that shit was not. 